Uh, I want to start with this Lakers Celtics play last night, but the bigger issue, it's a regular season game. Let's not make too much of it. The bigger issue, though, these are the two biggest brands in the NBA, and they're both kind of in trouble. I'm going to address the Lakers for the first five minutes, and then I'm going to address the Celtics after that in a different topic. So let's start with the Lakers. These are big brands. Historically, Celtics, Lakers, biggest two. This is the Yankees, Dodgers, Red Sox, whatever, Cubs, Cardinals, a baseball. It's the Notre Dame and Alabama, Ohio State of football. And the Lakers have a little bit of a problem. And Charles Barkley, as LeBron turns 37 in a couple of weeks, knows the problem. It's A.D. For the first month of the season, y'all blame everything on Russell Westbrook for the Lakers being putting all them old-ass geezers together. And y'all blame Westbrook. Now I hear y'all going to fire Frank Vogel. Cool. Listen, Anthony Davis, you got to play better. I said on this first night, if the Lakers were going to be any good, it was all going to be on you. You're 27 years old. You're supposed to be in your prime. You're supposed to be one of the five best players in the world up there with Giannis, Kevin Durant, and those guys. And you ain't holding up your end of the bargain. Thank you. In baseball, it's different. If you're a pitcher and you have great stuff, you're an ace. Regardless of your personality, you are an ace. You take the ball, you control the pace of the game, you control virtually everything. But it's different in basketball. Teammates, passing, play both ends of the floor. So many things that matter. In basketball, a general manager told me this years ago, it's not about getting a franchise player, it's about getting the right one. Talent alone doesn't make you a one. The Knicks thought Carmelo Anthony was, and he wasn't. He wasn't going to commit physically on the defensive end. He wasn't a grinder, and that's Anthony Davis. He's not physically dependable. He doesn't elevate others. He's just really talented. And right now in the NBA, we have three great players, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, and Anthony Davis, and they are ones in talent but twos. You cannot depend on Kawhi. He doesn't elevate others. He's not physically available. Anthony Davis is not a grinder. Your best player, Tim Duncan, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, have to be your hardest workers, your most focused basketball players. They have to be willful and driven and elevate others. Anthony Davis is just talented. Harden's just talented. Kawhi's just talented. You got to have some dog and some alpha. You got to want to be the first into the weight room and the last out. And this is the Lakers' issue because they thought they were getting a one. For years and years, we always blame the Pelicans. Ah, it's the Pelicans. We've been here three years. <laughs> and last year, he showed up out of shape. LeBron was ticked off. Frank Vogel, go ahead and blame Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel has a history of elevating bigs. Anthony Davis should be a top three big. He wants to shoot jumpers. And he's shooting like 19% this year. Don't confuse it. Basketball's culture is interesting. It doesn't do a great job of developing leaders. Basketball's culture does a great job of developing basketball players. They find them early. There's a lot of people that develop them, care about them, work on them, and get them paid early. Basketball's culture does a great job to develop players. I would always argue football's culture does a better job of developing leaders. You're in college for multiple years, four and five years. You watch a culture at Alabama, at Georgia, at Oklahoma. Remember, Michael Jordan was not born a leader. But he had strong dad, Dean Smith, Phil Jackson, plus David Stern. His relationship with David Stern was very close. Then he had a great agent. So Michael saw, Michael had some innate alpha but he saw what great leadership was because he went to college for multiple years and had a relationship with Phil for multiple years. Michael was a much better leader at the second part of his career than he was initially. He wasn't a great leader when he got to the NBA. Michael was a great player, but he was selfish and hard to get along with. And then he got Phil Jackson, who tapped into Michael's innate ability to lead. And it was Magic, the best basketball player and team we've ever seen. But the Lakers have an issue. They thought they were getting a one, and what they're getting is a two. And now LeBron's 37 years old. So the, the Lakers have to find their next Kobe. Kobe's a one. They got to find their next Magic. Magic's a one. Shaq was a one. Shaq was rough on Shaq would get in arguments with Kobe. And that's why the Lakers were so unique. Shaq and Kobe were both ones. I covered Scottie Pippen. Scottie's a two. 
Kevin McHale's a two. It's not just physicality. It's not just your talent. And so, you know, Shaq, everybody wants to fire Vogel now. Vogel loves bigs. He's got a big. Giannis loves being a big. Andre Drummond, Joel Embiid, they love being bigs. They love using their body. Anthony Davis, you know, they, they, make, they make fun of his dad bod. He don't want to work out. They want to put the time in the weight room. Here's Shaq last night. AD has to dominate. Because Chuck said he, he's supposed to be one of the best players. I, I agree with the great Charles Barkley. He's not playing like that now, so he has to pick it up. Forget, forget about what Russell Westbrook and Carmelo is doing. AD has to be the number two punch, and when LeBron isn't there, AD has to be the what? number one punch. At if you're shooting that bad from the three-point line, that's telling me one thing. Get your ass in the post where you belong. He doesn't want to. Kawhi, Harden, and AD. We always said this about Kawhi. He's the best get-a-basket-and-get-a-stop guy in the league, so you think he's a one. And he was great when he joined the strong Spurs culture and the strong Raptors culture. Then he went to L.A. and they said, we're going to build around him. No, 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 no. That's not what he does. No, no, no. When he joined two excellent cultures, he's unbelievable. Get a basket, get a stop. But you got to talk and be verbal. And you got to communicate. And you got to elevate others. And you got to be physically available. Kawhi and A.D. aren't. Should be ones, they're twos. Now go find your next one.